Sim here, welcome back to another video. Thank you for waiting so long for one of my videos. I am back for the time being, and today we have a video for the formal from the House of CRs from the Gentleman's Collection. Now, before we get right into the video, let's talk a little bit about House of CRs. House of CRs, if you guys don't know, they're known for just making very beautiful bottles, man. Very beautiful bottles, regal smelling fragrance that smells mass appealing, but also very niche and quality at the same time. All their fragrances made in France by world renowned noses, so there's no problem with the juice there. They're very focused on the mass appeal. Mass appeal plus uniqueness. A lot of their fragrances smell just really, really good. If I can own some of them, I would. I would own probably half of the collection if I could, but they are a little pricey, mind you, because they are a luxury brand. So it's a little hard for me to try and own all of them without going Going broke, but definitely, definitely a brand that you should check out. So, House of CRs, if you want to find them, you can find them at Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, and Saks Fifth Avenue here in the United States. Now, let's jump right into the fragrance. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the scent. Now, the scent for this thing it starts off with a very, very, very nice spices, mixed citrus, slightly pouty, slightly resinous, but very masculine, and more importantly, very mass appealing. This thing is a beast in terms of mass appeal. Like, I'm so surprised that this thing has the uniqueness and the mass appeal at the same time. Those are two rare qualities to find together in fragrances because usually in each fragrance they either lean very unique or they either lean very mass appealing and uninspiring, but this is like perfect. This is so, so good. Like, I smell this. I've been using it for seven days now and I've been thoroughly impressed, man. Like, it's been my signature scent for the past seven days and I want to use it more and more and more. That's how much I like this scent. Now, as it dries down, you're gonna get less of the spices, less of the citrus, but more of the powdery and resinous aspect, which to me plays really well into the formal theme because it smells so regal. It smells regal, it smells dark and mysterious at the same time, but still very masculine and very grabbing. It holds on to its intriguing quality from start to finish is what I'm trying to say. And that's one thing that I highly appreciate in this fragrance because normally, again, sometimes you have fragrances that it's really good in the opening, but a dry down, it suffers. First, this one is not bad. This one is good from the opening all the way to the dry down. Next, let's talk about the performance. Now, this being from the House of Siage, you might expect something that has really big Sion, very beast mode longevity. This is not the case per se, but oh, it's not beastly. It lasts okay. Now, this thing lasts on my skin around five to seven hours, which is perfectly fine. I don't care if any fragrances last longer than seven hours, to be perfectly honest, because, you know, seven is plenty. That's a whole work day. I can always reapply throughout the day as well, so that's not a huge problem for me. But for those of you guys who love beast mode, 10 plus hour fragrances, this one will not really be for you, at least from my testings anyway. But for me, five to seven hours is plenty. The projection on this one is Closer to the skin, it's like around this personal area, which to me fits the theme of the formal really well. In formal parties, you really don't want to be projecting like a madman anyway. You want to be very sophisticated, straightforward, regal. You just want to be just very classy in a formal situation. So the sillage right around this, the personal bubble area is perfect for me. Now the projection for me is good from two to three hours. After that, it gets closer and closer and closer to the skin which again is fine but for beast mode lover you guys might not like that but for general users i feel like that's perfectly fine next we're going to talk about versatility now this one being named the formal you would think that it works really well in formal occasion and you'd be right this thing fits so well in formal occasion like i said it has this really regal masculine mysterious feel to it while having this slight bit of confidence in it as well much like a very nice expensive tuxedo per se it just smells really good regal expensive luxurious masculine so it fits the formal occasion very well but what it also fits well is every other occasion this thing can easily be your signature scent like i'm looking forward to wearing this pretty much every day now because i really really enjoy this one it just smells good it makes me feel a little bit more confident a little bit more masculine as well it just fits every single situation i've been wearing it for work mainly i wore it on nights out once love it it fits really well with the vegas theme casino and gaming and you know just the nights out nightlife party life so overall dude versatility wise this thing is so good you can use it pretty much anytime at all now in terms of season however I don't really recommend using this outdoor in the summertime, but if you're indoor, any season works just fine. But in the summertime, outdoors in the heat might not be too well because that does have that resinous and spicy feeling might be too much for the summer outdoors. But if you're indoors, anytime is a good time to wear this. High class events work and anything professional slash regals tend to work better for this fragrance. But trust me on this one, wear this one absolutely 
any time. It just works so well. Very, very nice signature scent. Next, let's talk about the compliment factor. Now, this one to me has very, very high potential of getting compliments due to just the sheer mass appealingness of this fragrance. It's a type of fragrance where it's just genuinely really hard not to like. It smells nice, fresh, masculine. It's super, super hard not to like this fragrance. And throughout the time that I wore this, around seven to eight days, I've gotten two compliments, which to me, that's pretty good because there are some fragrances that goes month without getting compliments at all. Two in eight days, I'll take that. That's pretty good to me. So comment factor wise, this does have very high potential, again, due to it's just sheer mass appealingness and also because of the performance like i said the bubble is right here so anytime you walk past someone they'll notice you whether they choose to say something or not they notice you and that's one of the key factor of getting compliments that you need a fragrance that people can actually smell off you that also has a mass appeal vibe to it this thing has both of those hence very very high compliment getting potential next let's talk about the price tag now this thing comes in one size 75 ml for 200 and $95. So yes, this is not a cheap fragrance in any regards. It's a luxury product, it's a luxury fragrance, and it's for more of the luxury crowd or collector or anyone who's willing to spend this kind of money. So if you're looking for a budget fragrance, this is definitely not gonna be for you. The value for me is not there if you're just looking for pure practicality. Any fragrance above like $150, $200, practicality-wise, it's not gonna be practical. This is for someone who's looking for something unique, something different, something that would just set them apart, but also something that's really quality made. Now this bottle is rock solid, really, really good. The mechanism is amazing. The packaging is really good with this brand always. So the price tag there, if you're looking for something very extravagant as a gift for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, this thing is really, really good. It does make a statement for sure when you buy something like this for yourself and you use it, or you buy it as a gift for someone, you know, they'll see it. They'll see the quality as well. So to recap, if you're looking for practical value, bang for buck, this is not going to be for you. But if you're looking to purchase a luxury item, a luxury fragrance, this is one of the fragrance and one of the brands that's definitely should be on your roster. All right, lastly, we have the summary. Let's go over the pros and cons of this fragrance again. Pro, pro number one, the smell is so good. Mass appealing slash unique. It's a very, very amazing combo that's just hard to find in any fragrance. I wholeheartedly love this fragrance and I'm gonna wear it for a long, long time into the future. Definitely, this is one of my favorite fragrances I've smelled this year in 2019. So this is really, really up there. Pro number two, it is versatile. Very, very versatile. Use it in any situation at all. Great for signature scent. It smells masculine, mass appealing, and overall just it oozed confidence. And you can wear it anytime at all. Now on to the cons. Now the only con I really see with this fragrance is the price tag. It's not accessible for everyone. It's not cheap, but it does come with a level of quality that justifies the price tag to an extent. But I'm gonna give it a con for this one because 295 practical value is definitely not there. It's not practical at all. But again, if you're looking for a luxurious item, it's good. So at the end of the day, it really depends on what kind of fragrance user you are. Again, if you're more practical, if you're more luxurious, if you're more of the collector, that's all up to you. But since the price tag is so high, this one will be the only con about this fragrance. All right, that's it for a review of the Formal from the House of CRs in the Gentleman's Collection. I, mean, I think there's another fragrance called the Classic. I haven't smelled that one, but I heard it smells good as well. I hope it is. I really want to try it someday. But the Formal, again, to reiterate, this is a gem. This is one that you at least, at least need to try out at your local Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, or Saks Fifth Avenue. Just go there, grab the bottle, spray it on your hand, and tell me it doesn't smell just so damn good. Like, it smells good. So yeah, that's it. I want to rant anymore about this fragrance. Thank you again to House of Siage for the partnership, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye.